Hello Leo, welcome back to my channel. We're going to be doing a weekly reading for the week of the 1st. And I want to um, start out with um, some oracle messages to begin the reading. Um, we're going to go ahead and do that first and then we'll head into the tarot reading shortly after, okay? Um, all of the decks that I'm using can be found down in the description box if you're interested. Also, if you're new to my channel, thank you for being here. Welcome. So we're going to go ahead and see what March has for you. Um, I cannot believe we're already the third month into 2021. It seems, it seems odd, but it's come too fast. Spirit, please give us a message for Leo. To start off the reading, please. As usual, I hope everyone is doing well and staying safe out there. Wherever you are, I hope you are uh, enjoying the weather and doing the wonderful things that you want to do. I'm hoping the world opens up soon. All right, we have two messages here. We have the talisman. You are destined to succeed. Beautiful. And we have the knight. Triumph over adversity. Wow. Two cards of really powerful messages there from the oracle. Let's see what else comes out for you, Leo. Nudges. The card says, intuition is the language of the soul. We are all born aware with a profound sense of inner knowing. Intuition is one of the greatest gifts we possess, which keeps us connected to our higher selves, the universe, and to our divine spirit. That is beautiful. So your intuition is going to be very important this upcoming week first week in March I'm going to be getting an angel answer card for you right now if you have any questions while I'm shuffling please ask your question and whatever comes up will be your answer okay spirit please give Leo the message they need to hear message is look for a sign okay so that is your message from the angel answer oracle all right I'm gonna set these aside okay so I just want to um, clarify that um, these powerful messages that came out through um, this deck you are destined to succeed and triumph over adversity. These are very powerful cards of uh, triumph and, um, you know, some very, very good things coming your way, okay? So we'll put these aside in your intuitive nudges as well. Let's go ahead and start the tarot reading. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Santa Muerte tarot deck to, to do the reading today. We're going to be looking at the challenges this upcoming week. We're going to look at advice from spirit and the outcome. Okay, and we will clarify all of the messages that come out. Okay. 
Okay, Spirit, please show me the messages that Leo needs to hear for this upcoming week, the 1st of March. Your challenge for the week, Leo, is the King of Cups. You'll be dealing with the uh, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. You could have Pisces in your chart as well. The advice from Spirit is the Hierophant. Possible um, maybe you are on a spiritual journey. And um, so we'll, we'll clarify. Uh, at the bottom of the, of the deck, we have the Three of Pentacles. Okay. Let me go ahead and put this here. And then uh, for the outcome, we have the Queen of Cups. So we have the King and the Queen of Cups as a pair here. So um, this might be a, a relationship, a twin flame union or a soulmate connection um, that is in your present um situation that's a possibility okay um and then with the three of pentacles here um this is really saying that um there are some partnerships here that could be either in career or in your love life however the three of pentacles talks about a lot a lot of the times mostly about career okay so this could be maybe a possible job offer or a job partnership or a business partnership um you could be joining a new team uh in business possibility okay we're gonna go ahead and clarify and um, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Rider Waite Smith to clarify today I'm being called to do that and we're gonna go ahead and start with the challenge position here with the King of Cups Let's see if uh, what kind of messages come out for this could be an individual as I said um, this could also be your energy, but we will we will look. Okay, spirit. What is this King of Cups for Leo? Okay, we got the Two of Pentacles. Justice. Nine of Wands and the Three of Cups. So the challenge with this individual here, uh, so there is a Two of Wands that came out to clarify. The Two of Wands talks about choosing a path between two. So this might be choosing a path towards a cancer, a cancer Pisces or a Scorpio individual and this individual as you can see has chosen this rod or this wand here so you may be challenged with a decision to to choose between two um, and this individual might be um, one that you have an option to choose from now we have, this is the card of Libra, this is justice, okay? And justice talks about balance. So you could be looking at weighing your options, okay? Um, you know, she does have the two scales there. And, you know, justice is a card of fairness and truth, okay? But it could also be a card of um, law and order or possible court case. So this could possibly involve a court case with a Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio individual. Possibly um, the courts could be weighing the decision between, you know, uh, guilty or not guilty. Okay, depending on your situation, please put it how it resonates for you. If you are in a court case with an individual, um, this is talking about um, a situation here with the nine of wands that really feels um, that has really taken a toll on you. Whatever the situation was, you are feeling definitely wounded from it. Um, and with this three of 
cups, this could possibly um, have been a third party situation. Okay. If it's not a third party situation, um, maybe this just means that you're going to be um, celebrating by winning the case, whatever this might be for you. Okay. So, yeah, so it looks like it'll, it'll change for everybody. It'll be different for everybody since I'm reading for thousands of people. Please, again, put, put it how it resonates for your situation. Um, but there is definitely going to be um, a choice that is going to be made here, whether it's on your part or the part of possible courts or judges uh, coming up with uh, their verdict, depending on the situation that you're in. Okay. Now, again, you have triumph over adversity, okay, with this card here. So you are going to be winning this case, okay, whether that's a custody battle, whether that's, you know, whatever it's related to. It doesn't have to be a custody battle or a divorce, but um, I do definitely see a Cancer Pisces Scorpio individual here, okay. So the Hierophant card is the advice from spirit. Now, the Hierophant can talk about... Like I said, a spiritual journey, um, really getting in touch with your higher self. And it can also talk about a well-established um, organization or um, a spiritual, like I said, a spiritual um, journey. So let's see. Let's see what this is about. Spirit, what is the Hierophant here for Leo? What's the Hierophant? Now, uh, that is Four of Wands can talk about marriage, and the Hierophant can also talk about um, marriage as well, or commitment, or getting married in the church, okay? Eight of Wands is uh, quick communication. Somebody might be coming in to propose, Leo. A new beginning with the fool here. New journey. And the star card. Wow. So someone might be coming in to propose or you might be proposing to someone. It looks like, so with the star card, um, it's trust and moving forward with a desired, um, a desired outcome. Okay. So with the Hierophant and the four of wands here, this really tells me that there is a possible marriage or commitment here um, and there's going to be some communication about about this commitment so maybe someone's coming in to ask you to marry them or you asking someone to marry you this is going to be a, a new journey new journey and there's going to be trust in moving forward with this decision and in this direction wow that is beautiful you know, this isn't going to resonate with everybody. This is a general reading, okay? Whatever you do, make sure to go check your sun, moon, and rising signs. If this does not resonate with you, go check one of those other signs that is in your chart, okay? Um, for those of you who are getting married, congratulations. Especially if you are, um, you know, if you've never been married before and this is your first time, it's very exciting. Now, as I said, there are uh, the king and the queen of cups here. This is really um, resonating with what the cards are saying so it could be you know this marriage that's happening between um, two people okay and that could be what this justice card is you might be going to the justice of peace i think that's what it's called where you go get um married um i don't know <laughs> i'm not married so i'm not i don't know what it's called but you go and you get married at the courts that could be what you're doing and that's beautiful and this could be the celebration, the Three of Cups celebrating. And, you know, sometimes the marriage um, marriage uh, arrangements can be really frustrating and um, a little overwhelming. So that could be why this Nine of Wands is here. Maybe it's just a little um, a little overwhelming to, uh, to get everything arranged for this to happen. Let's get a uh, clarification on the Queen of Cups here for Leo. Okay, we have the Knight of Pentacles. This is the outcome. Something is uh, working its way in very slowly. I'm hearing um, 
I'm hearing maybe that there might be some uh, delays with getting your home in order for you two to begin your new life. And yes, the two of cups. This is you two. That's so beautiful. That is you two. You and your husband or wife there. That's beautiful. So yeah, as I said, there might be some delays in getting your home um, in order for you all to move in for your new journey in life together. Uh, it looks like there's there could be some delays. Any more messages, Spirit, please? Thank you. Okay. Yeah, there's, there's some delays with um, possible finances that has caused you to, you know, feel like you have to go within to, um, to really think about how you're going to um, manage all of the finances and take care of some of um, the issues getting into a new home. So this Seven of Pentacles in reverse is just saying that there's some delays in um, the finances uh, and getting things in order um, for this new life with you and your spouse. And you're just going within here. The outcome is really saying that um, things are working, things are, are moving slowly. Um, and you know, people are feeling a little bit frustrated. You and your spouse might be feeling a little overwhelmed with some of the processes that um, are required to um, start a new family, right? Or to, to be um, married. So there's just some delays and you are definitely working on getting through some of those uh, interesting um, dilemmas, right? Now, whatever this is, this is um, the question. This is the answer to the question you asked. So look for a sign, whatever you asked, the Oracle. And then the Three of Pentacles talks about partnership. So this was not in work in this case, uh, as we said in the beginning, but it is a partnership nonetheless, okay? And it's a beautiful partnership in love. So that is so beautiful. Just know you're going to triumph over adversity and you are destined to succeed in this wonderful journey, okay? Always make sure to follow your intuition, especially, um, you know, when it comes to um, taking care of your family, right? Your new spouse and if you two decide to have children, that's beautiful. I'm going to get one lover oracle here before we close the reading, okay? All right. The message is wait. Don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. So that is your last oracle message. Whatever that is for you, you will know. Wait. Okay. Don't rush into it. So if this is something that you have not decided on, if you are not, if this is something you're contemplating, if this is something that you are thinking about, maybe, maybe uh, you haven't proposed yet, um, don't rush into it. Don't feel forced to do it. Obviously, the oracle says allow nature to take its course, okay? However, if you've already done this and you've already proposed to the one you want to be with forever, congratulations. And I wish you the best of luck in the new year and in the start of the new month of March. Okay. All right. I love you guys. Thank you for being here again and for your support. Um, my email is down below and um, all of the links that I normally post are down below as well. Please go check those out. Okay. And until next time, Leo, take care. Namaste.